Welcome to Catherine Paint. Today I have three alcohol ink light switch covers that we're going to be doing. And the first one is going to be with a purple and blue. And I like to put the blending solution down first. It helps for the ink to stay on better. And then I am using 91% isopropyl alcohol. And my um, pinata alcohol inks. All the colors will be listed in the box below. And also on this one, I'm going to be using the brass. And I had heard from one of my friends that it really has good effects. And so I wanted to try it out. And I really do love how the effects kind of kind of sits on top and kind of like outlines and stuff. It really adds a really interesting element to it. So anyway, um, if you guys could hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Doing that doesn't cost you anything and it really, really helps my channel out. And it is so much appreciated. So I am using the Ranger ink um, blower. It's a little black thing and it just really gives a good effect blowing out and drying the alcohol ink. It helps it dry faster, so really helps the process. So the second one that we're doing is kind of like a desert. And this time I will be using a brush instead of the blower. So I'll put down the blending solution again first. And then I just put some ink colors down and then I will I dip my brush into the alcohol ink and start spreading it around. I am going, I have sped this up eight times, but I didn't shorten it any. I didn't take any clips out so that you could see exactly what the whole process is, but you could see it much faster. <laughs> and, uh, So um, I'm just kind of blending the colors into each other, trying to get some good effects, added some more alcohol. I have really learned so much playing with these light switch covers, um, especially with the alcohol inks. It gives me a small canvas which to, you know, experiment on, it's a lot of fun. So. Um, also, another thing that is really important when you're doing alcohol ink is to let it dry in between layers. I didn't have to do that so much with this. I was kind of did it real quick. But on the next one that's coming up, I will show you, is going to be my little poppy field. And so I put the blue down for the sky and I used two different colors of blue and then put the green down and so I did this and then I started immediately trying to do the red poppies and it just blended I mean it just really turned to mud so I just took I used a little bit of alcohol and got all the color off of this light switch cover and then I um, redid it and I let it dry completely <laughs> and then I just came back in with my Santa Fe red and put in my flowers. Use a little bit of alcohol. When it's completely dry like that, you can just kind of put it on top. And then we are going to put in the stems after we get all the flowers done and that will be it. I use the same brush as I did on the um, desert one. So this was so much fun. I feel like I have learned so much about alcohol ink. Of course, I still have a lot more to learn. So now let's look All at the right. dried results. Here they are, the last of the order of switch light, light switch plates. Let's go in for a close up on this. This is the poppies. It has not gotten a protective spray or <clears throat> I'm also gonna cover it with resin. I am really liking how they look with the resin on them. So I'm going to do that today. So this one has been resined. 
on this one. And then I did another galaxy for her son and I didn't film it because I had already filmed one of the galaxy ones. So, all right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this series with me. It was so much fun I to explore a bunch of different techniques and ways to, ways to do it. <clears throat> Please like and subscribe, be inspired.